Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a multimedia timeline on myhistro.com, which you can use in your web browser. You can also use it as an iOS app. So here in my dashboard, we have the option to create a story. And a story is your timeline. Let's create the new story. We'll call this one Baseball in New England. And as you can see, you can invite other people to work on the story with you. Here you can also set your privacy. You can make this public. You can make it available only to your friends, or you can make it available only to you. You can also say allow or disallow comments on the story. Now let's go ahead and add some events to our story. Now I have some events already created here, but you can also create a new event either up here or down at the bottom. Either way will work the same way. Let's go ahead and create a new event. We'll say last Red Sox World Series win of 20th century. And I'll put in some details. We'll say Babe Ruth was still on the team then. We'll add a photo now. Add a photo there. For Babe Ruth. And we want to put in a date here. So you can scroll through or you can go up here and type and get it that way. And I'll say October. And now let's put in location down here and locate that on the map and say done. Now that is now added to the story. Let's create a new event. And we'll say here, years of suffering. Let's say the Red Sox would not win again for 86 years. And we can put in some start and end dates here, which is one of the nice things about my Histro is that it will show your start and end dates on the timeline as one continuous event. So we'll go back and we'll type in 1918 and we'll just put in November. We can say November 1st and add an end date here. And we'll put in 2004 we'll put in October. And we can add a photo there as well. And again, we can put in our location, Boston, Massachusetts, and say done. Now, there's one last element to an event that you can add, and that is a video. Let's go ahead and create that video. So we'll create the new event. We'll say finally win again, October 2004. Again, put in our date here. And we'll put in the location. This time they actually won in St. Louis, Missouri. So we'll add that location. And then down here we'll select Add Video. And we can put in the link to a video that we found on YouTube. And we'll paste that in. And select Done. Now let's save our story. Let's hit the play button and take a look at that story. You can see we have our place markers on this little map here, but the whole thing will play down here. So let's click play. Now our event pops up. Click next. 
and there's our next event it pops up and you'll notice we kind of flew along to St. Louis now if we want to see that video that we put in we do have to click on read more and that will show the video along with the location of the event and as you can see you can also go back in and add pictures and so that's our little timeline and you can see there's our span of years of suffering across the top as well now to share this you have a variety of options you can actually export it as a KML file to play in Google Earth or Google Maps uh, you have a PDF option you have a quiz option which is the option to create a quiz based on the events that are on your map and on your timeline and you can also embed the story into a blog post or a web page and of course you can always just share the link across the top with anyone that wants to view your story so that's how to create a basic multimedia timeline on myhistro.com and for more tips and tricks like this please check out freetech4teachers.com